What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Jeff Bailey and we're taking a break from the 25s to take a look at an unexpected win for me. Um, the brand new Sawyer Tom's Choice Barlow's special factory order from uh, uh, Charlie Campagna. These, uh, I missed the early reserve on these which of course most people probably miss the early reserve on these, they're, they're hard to get, but was able to uh, to grab one when they, to nice ship free for something like, oh, I don't know, 65 seconds, something like that. Um, it, was, it was quite the rush, as always. Able to grab one of each. I'm not, probably not going to keep both of them. I will keep one of them. As this is the first time I've ever been able to buy a Tom's Choice Barlow at regular retail price off the street. So, we'll get into them here in just a second, but I do have both of the releases. So, in this year, they did the uh, Gabon Ebony and the Cranberry Sawcut Bone. Now, I saw the Ebony actually in process at the Great Eastern Rendezvous, so just tables full of uh, of beautiful knives and all stages of production they're just all the way full this one is uh, I'm going to put them down backwards that's the cranberry let's, let's switch this one's going here this one's going here there it is there is the ebony so I'll tell you what I'll just put this stuff up here and let's just get a look at these guys now, both of these do come with sheep's foot blades, just like the Blade Forms Barlow, which was very recently going through production at the same time. That one features a micarta handle and a nail nick, whereas these guys feature clearly the long pole and uh, ebony and saw cut bone. They all feature, or at least my two, I don't know if they all or not, feature this real sheep foot Barlow pin very cool and we'll see the same ram actually let's look at the ebony first on the uh, the blade edge too hope you guys like like the lighting I'm actually doing this inside try to save us from the worst of the of the cicadas and everything um, plus it's dark now and normally I don't have as much time to to film at night but I got a nice uh, big soft light box uh, to help me film so hopefully that works out well but let's let's take a look at this knife now now for those of you who don't know the TC Barlow is a special factory order order excuse me uh, from a man named Charlie Campagna who we've uh, discussed before met him at the rendezvous he's a really nice guy been doing this for a while has a pretty great story about the first time he did a run of these I don't know for sure if they were TC but his first special factory order run that he did took him quite a long time to, to, to sell them all. Um, and basically to do that order, you have to make that upfront investment yourself and be able to uh, to sell those back to make your profit. And I, I think he said it took him forever to break even, probably not having that same pro uh, trouble anymore. Like I said, these things uh, went up on Knife Ship Free. I want to say they had best guess 25 to 50 of each of the coverings and like I said 65 seconds I had my stuff preloaded in there already signed in already uh, already signed in already um, PayPal information already in there and was able to just spam that refresh button when they were going live which by the way I called them um, I missed I missed an email notification at another Great Eastern dealer that theirs were available uh, but figured if they had them then the other dealers must have had them so I called around and was told knives ship free I could not pre-order or reserve them in any way however they would go on sale at a given time and date so I uh, sat by my refresh button on my keyboard and uh, was able to grab two right when they came up so do your legwork you can find them look at this ebony wood here um, it's really I was trying to like to hold it even closer to the uh, the camera but almost gets caught in a glare there really really high-end ebony wood here this is 
just about jet black. Um, you can catch some really faint, faint notes of dark brown on and, and this and the in the mark side here. Um, but overall, extremely black, almost piano key kind of finish there. Really, really nice. All steel construction on these. And again, these are both single blades. This guy looks really good here. Really easy. I mean, you know, talk about easy to open. Not a difficult pull. Um, easy to pinch there with that sheep's foot. Snaps right into place. Perfectly, perfectly uh, rigid tension on the spring there. Nice, just clean lines all the way down. Uh, see, we got to look at that at that etch. Satin finish on these, as these are technically on the uh, from the TDU line, TDU Cutlery line. So there we go, TDU Cutlery made in USA. And then we're just going to have Great Eastern Cutlery, Titusville Iron Works, and then the model number. By the way, uh, Charlie's got kind of a budding website where he goes over some of his releases at waynorthcutlery.com.net. Waynorthcutlery.net. So check him out. Each one of these covers of the tubes here, not the covers, but the labels, they're all a little bit unique. So see, this one's got the sheep's foot. Um, and it's got Tom uh, Sawyer uh, from, of course, Mark Twain's. Um, writings. This one's a little interesting. This uh, this woolly bully thing here. It's got these black sheep on here, and uh, it's got a little write up here, which I'll go through. Let you pause and read if you're interested. All the joints, as always. All right. So anyway, that's the ebony. Let's take a look at the cranberry. Now I've liked the cranberry bone at. Uh, Great Eastern in the past. I've seen Cranberry Jig Bone. Um, it comes out very nice. This is the Cranberry Saw Cut. Same construction. Same, I mean, you know, same knife. Different covers. Same great, uh, same great etch there. But look at these beautiful deep but not too dark red um, cranberry covers here to kind of catch the light in them. Got that nice saw cut finish. Smoothed out here at the edges. But unlike the um, unlike the ebony which is rounded as you can see you get that flat saw cut and those raised uh, rivets on the end here. You see that versus this one, they are all ground smooth. Hardly flush at all on the rivets here. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, hardly recessed at all. Um, some of those little touches of dark in the bone there. Uh, and not only rounded there, but on the ends too, right? So the, the this one is more, it's, it's a little flat right at the end, but it, it kind of tapers down. Not exactly a radius, but it kind of smooths out like they do in the 77 Barlows versus with that with the cranberry and that sort of traditional um, cover shape of the, of the uh, saw cut it ends up being just just smooth all the way down not smooth um, but flat all the way down and kind of squared off around the rounded corner there I mean when I say square I mean like this angle here it's very right angle you can see there Great knives. You got the really great Tom's Choice um, in the stamp there. I really like the long pull on those single blade uh, knives. Let's see how can we get both of these here? We can take a look. I had a viewer ask me where do I how do I typically sell my knives? I typically do do it on blade forums. Um, because 99% of the time I know whoever else is getting them there is not a, uh, a scalper or someone of that effect, but they're, they're somebody else who's really just looking to, to own a great knife. And these are really stunning, as most of the TCs are. On the 15 frame, of course, um, same as the boy's knife. Um, it's, it's a nice, you know, these are smaller than the 77 Barlow's. 
um, that come from a, um, collector knives, right? Just a little bit, a little smaller, a little thinner on the single blade. I've actually never held a single blade uh, um, TC before. I do have a 15, um, but it's a Great Eastern um, label with uh, American Elk, so it's stainless. So this will be a little bit different. And it's just a jack. It's not a single blade jack, so it's not a, a bar load and have these big pronounced bolsters. Which one to keep, though? What kind of, how, how am I supposed to make that decision? Look, these are both really excellent knives. Take another look at the ebony. There we go. That is really something. Man. Man, oh man. Such a timeless material. Then again, the you know, so is the saw cut. I mean, the dies are a lot stronger today than I think they were in the past. Case obviously famed for their red bone uh, over the years, but this is pretty glorious. And right now, I don't actually have any saw cut bone uh, in my possession, so I don't know. This might be, this might have to be the keeper. I know I tend to, I do tend towards the ebony's, but I do have a couple of ebony's already that I really like and this is just nothing to me screams Barlow quite as much as those saw cut bone handles on a Barlow just fits as a matter of fact it's not the subject of the video but actually a knife in my pocket I've been trying to carry some vintage knives this last week is actually an old Russell Barlow um, not done the work to look at the age spear blade but you can see very this you know I mean it's gotta be I would easily guess the 60s are older. So, considering this knife is a few weeks old, this one is decades. Look at the style points here. You got that same, um, uh, same ornate bolster with a trademark stamp, lined bolster, roughly the same pin positions here, same saw cut lines running through there. This one is obviously a black uh, saw cut, same single blade pattern. You can see how on these older ones they took a little bit less care to round these off so these shoulders end up being a little little proud and versus they do kind of transition nicely here on the Great Easterns of today. Anyway. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Um, hopefully my new uh, my new filming light will make it a lot easier for me to fit filming into my schedule. I do have several more knives that I, I do want to get filmed and share with you guys. I did get in the 25 Barlow, the Northfield, and I do like it very much. Looking forward to share that one with you. And we've got some other fun stuff too. Uh, let me know what you think about the about the more vintage knives. You know, I've been trying to keep my eye out for good deals on them. If you'd like to see more of these, you know, let me know. We could try to do a you know vintage knife Saturday or something like that where we look at something just a little bit different. But in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll take one last look at these guys in all their glory. If you want one, I'm sure there's going to be some in the secondary market the next couple of weeks. But they do tend to get very expensive, unfortunately. Highly collectible. I couldn't even venture to guess how many versions of the TC Barlow have come out. Um, and I've I met a man... Uh, at the at the rendezvous who owns one of every pattern if you can imagine the investment there but why not right highly collectible really cool looking each one has its own little personality different combinations of cover materials and blade shapes what do you guys think of the sheep's foot barlow very nice as always if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate the thumbs up like and subscribe um, Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.